Welcome to Zoho Office for SharePoint. Before we go over the easy installation steps, let's quickly review how Zoho Office for SharePoint works. When a user edits a document, it gets uploaded via a secure SSL connection from your SharePoint server to Zoho. Zoho then presents the user with our rich, award-winning browser-based editors for the user to work online. When he's done with the document, it's automatically saved back to the SharePoint library. Finally, the document is permanently deleted from Zoho servers, and your business information remains safely stored inside your firewall. The system check screen will verify if you have the necessary permissions to install Zoho Office for Microsoft SharePoint. Make sure you have the Windows SharePoint Services Administration and Windows SharePoint Services Timer services running in your SharePoint server. The Deployment Target screen lists all of the site collections present in your SharePoint server. Choose the site collections where you want to install the Zoho Office plugin. Typically, this would be the site collection that contains the document libraries where you want the Zoho Office related menu items. When the Zoho Office solution finishes the installation, you should see a message that says, all operations completed successfully. Next, you'll need to configure the Zoho Office settings. You can also access this page from SharePoint Central Administration, Operations, Global Configuration, Zoho Office Settings. Zoho Office requires you to have a Zoho user account. You need to create just one Zoho account per installation of Zoho Office. Select the SSL checkbox if you want the documents to be transported over a secured line. If your SharePoint servers are behind corporate proxy, enter the proxy server host, port, username, and password. Click Update. You should see the message, Settings Saved Successfully. That's all it takes to start using Zoho Office for SharePoint. You can learn more at zoho.com SharePoint. Thanks for watching.